right, here is a video review for the new DX Osama Sentai King Oja Mex. Uh, the show just started last week. I've seen the first episode. The second episode has aired, and I have not. I think the subs are actually up, but I haven't watched it yet. But, uh, yeah, there's uh, these legendary god, uh, the King Oja God Mex. Um, we've got God Kuwagata, God... Um, Hachi, God Kamakiri, God Papillon, the butterfly, and God Tombo, the dragonfly. Very long. You can see clearly becomes a sword. Um, <laughs> thing. Those are the main five mechs of the people in the kingdom. They're legendary mechs. Uh, it's been a thousand years since they defeated uh, the Bugnarok, which are bug monsters. They fought a giant pill bug monster uh, in the first episode. Which is cool because we're going to be talking about a pill bug here in a minute. But, um, but yeah, I got this in the special 10-pack. Because there's the five main mechs here. And then there's some little auxiliary helper mechs. And of those, you get two uh, god tentos. Which are identical, it looks like. They don't look like there's any difference in the mold. Because um, there is a lot of asymmetry in these guys. But two, two little god tento ladybugs. There are god kumos, some spiders. They are different. Uh... One has a silver body with red legs. One has a red body with silver legs. Those attach to the chest as well. And then probably my favorite, and I do not even know why. I mean, it really shouldn't be for all, <laughs> all intents and purposes, but um, God Ant. He uses a solid black chunk of plastic. It actually has two pieces, it looks like. There's a screw there. There's a top part and a clip part. But um, yeah, God Ant. I don't know what he does, really. Um, he attaches to the sword, and then like when the sword did a final attack, the ant went and climbed up the sword. I don't know if that powers up the sword, like uh, the sword in Kamen Rider Geats with the you have to attack before it unleashes. I don't know, but he crawled up the sword. Um, so I, I don't know what he brings. Like these guys form forearm armor; these are form chest and crotch armor for the main mech. He's just on the sword, but I like I like him. He's just a little or her little god ant. I like it. Solid chunk of plastic. It's actually kind of almost a, under these lights. It looks like it may be just a really, really deep blue, not entirely solid black. Actually, yeah, same. It's it's it is a little brighter than it's it's more of the uh, the God Hachi dark deep deep blue color than it is the solid black here on uh, Kurogata. But yeah, this came in a special box pack um, with these ten, and also includes. Uh, God Kabuto, the rhinoceros beetle, who uh, in beetle mode has a little monkey, monkey. You can pull this up on this horn and have him kind of flip things. But we'll get into him later on. First, we're going to talk about the main mechs here. We also got a couple of little auxiliary mechs for 13 total. Um, there is a legendary King Oger, which is a 13 mech that also includes these main ones, God Kabuto and, or Kabuto and uh, a scorpion and a grasshopper. But those, we don't have, we've seen the, the mech, but we haven't seen the toys of those yet. They're pre, up for pre-order. We'll get to them. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the mechs. Like I said there, so, Tombow has, wings are on hinges. I really wish these hinges were on ball joints, just to give them a little bit more uh, posability in the combined mode. Uh, it's got hinge, hinges here at the wings, so they can lift them up a little bit. That's pretty much it. Very long dragonfly. Um, the, the kumos, the spiders, can legs can come up like that, can come down like that if you want them to stand a little taller. Uh, but right about there is about where the feet are even with the bottom of the spider. And that looks best, I think. Papillon, the wings can move up and down. And there is a ball joint. The feet can kind of move around. That's the ball joint to the neck for the combined robot head. But, uh, yeah, it's got a little range of motion. Hachi does have ball-jointed wings, which is nice, because you can have Hachi, you can kind of fold them around, but you can have them angled up, if you want to angle them forward a little bit, if you want to have them, if we've kind of flies like this, so you can uh, move those around, which is nice. And then Karakiri, Kamakiri, has uh, a ball joint for the head, the mantis, oh, these might be ball joints. They feel like ball joints, but because the flat surface against flat surface here, the way that the shoulder's capped, it doesn't have a whole lot of in and out movement. But uh, actually, we can just probably just pop one. Well, can we pop one off? Yeah, it's a ball joint. Yeah, 
And this is a softer plastic, so it's going to take a minute for that to kind of warp back to solid grip. And then you can move the legs a little bit and the tail flips around, but that's mostly for the combined mode, although it does have a hinge in it, which is nice. There's a clip under here for purposes unknown currently. Does he have a clip in the bottom of his? He also has a clip. So there's going to be some more stuff clearly to be added to this. I know there's at least a grasshopper and a scorpion mech coming. Um, and probably several more because um, there's a lot of ports on this thing that currently are unused. Anyway. So to combine them... Oh, and then... Uh, these little pinchers can move up and out. Up and out. Um, well, you can kind of angle the head down a little bit. Uh, they're on hinges here as well. Well, that's mostly for transformation and then up and back. Oh, this one's a little looser. We can, we can fix that. Uh, the legs are one solid piece, but they ha can rotate and move up and down on a ball joint right here. These, uh, you can ratchet and move the back legs, although it, mostly this is where it supports the thing. And this is a very large, with the legs extended, quite a large uh, main mech. He does form most of the body aside from the feet and the head, but it's the main torso and legs and arms and upper thighs of, or just thighs, not upper thighs, everything down to the knee for the combined mode. But neat, neat, neat asymmetry in both the detailing and the paint job, kind of scuffed up, war-torn bugs. This one kind of looks like a 90s Dixie cup with the teal and purple and white, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk real quick about these guys, and then we'll get to the auxiliary. Well, one of them, I guess, is a god. The other two, I think, are, are auxiliary mechs. Anyway, so take the core body and go ahead and fold this down. You see there's a clip right there. It uses a lot of these clips. Uh, some of them, as you can see here, like in the, the feet and here on the knees, are clear plastic, which always worries me. I've had several Sentai mechs use these clips, and they always end up cracking on me. Uh, not not all of them, not every clip on every mech, but every clip mech that has these clips, something cracked. One of them ends up cracking, I have to replace it. Um, my Kyoryuger, I had to replace the clips on the tail a couple of times. Um, sp speaking of bug mechs, I do love beetles, and seeing these two together is really cool. Um, I think it was Ninja Fury or Ninja Storm had the mech that was the the purple rhinoceros beetle and the blue stag beetle that formed that mech with the tank treads and everything. I love that mech. I still got it out, out in the, uh, out in storage, but it, uh, can't put it together anymore all the way because the clips broke. It's frustrating. So hopefully that wasn't happening. Some, a lot of these clips, they don't have the hard snap like a lot of the older ones did. So hopefully maybe they, they, they still hold, everything holds securely, but hopefully maybe they're not putting as much stress on those clips and we won't have as many issues with those clips breaking. Anyway, so fold that down like that. Kind of get these out to here. These pieces rotate up and around like this. And then get these out of the way. And then this ratchets down and straighten the arm. Pull this down, straighten the arm. This piece folds back and around. Now, you don't have to rotate the fists. I find that if you rotate them down like that, when you flip this around, it fits nicer in here and, and you, then you don't have a, a very obvious fist from the top of the beetle mode but you don't, the instructions don't actually show that also the instructions are not on a sheet of paper anymore like i thought maybe mine was faulty like i just didn't get the instructions but apparently they only put the instructions it's been a while since i bought a sentai mech and apparently they only put them as qr codes now which is fine the qr codes worked and i got the instructions but uh thank you to my friend cody for pointing that out because i was like i didn't get instructions so i think i've got this figured out okay but anyway, so we've got the core body here like this. These flip up. I can fold these down against the arm. And you, you're going to want to, you'll end up moving these around as you pose them. But um, these flip up like this and then open up like that. And there's the core body. And we'll, we'll show off some more posability either. But you can see like he's already got the ratchets up here. There's a ratchet right here so the arm can move. This row piece, you know, it, it wants to rotate. You kind of got to hold this in place, but it can move his arms forward and backward. Got an elbow, got a got a swivel there as well, wrist sw swivel. Um, actually has a waist swivel on the mech. Uh, ratcheting hips forward and back, thigh swivel, um, hinge knees, and ankle tilt. So you got it's got a, 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 one of the more poseable 
Sentai mechs that we've had in, in, in a while, at least that I've messed with. I think the last one I had was the um, the last dinosaur team. But uh, but yeah, so there's the core body. And then we'll take Hachi. This comes down, fold the wings down, like that. Now it, it, you can take this forward a notch because again posability. So you got some forward and back an uh, ankle as well as they do have an ankle tilt on the uh, a slight rotation. It doesn't rotate freely and it only rotates in one direction because they go in specific places on like some transformers we can combine or whatever. But make a foot like that. And same thing over here with Kyokiri. Flip this forward, fold this up, bring this whole assembly with the head down like that, then fold the legs down. And there's the foot and the same thing. There's a clip on the bottom, purpose currently unknown. And then it has some ankle tilt again toward the inner direction as well. And you take them and clip them on to the legs like that. And again, you'll see some clips right here that currently unused. So there's a lot of already a lot of room for uh, expansion on this mech. Let's go ahead and bring this up like this. Now you can, uh, like I said, the head kits under here, and there here's the clip. These roll forward. If you want to do it like on the show, if you're if you're quick enough, if you're in, in uh, dexterous enough, you kind of can do the flyby where the butterfly you know, lift the wings up a little bit, kind of does the, the flyby on the mech and drops the head off because it clips on right here and then the papillon clips off. And again, as, as I was uh, saying earlier, the um, my foot's not right. Um, the clips in here to hold the head in place are plastic. I was worried when it first got here that the head wouldn't snap in It was it, and that, that maybe this had already cracked. It was not the case. It just took a, you just have to get it in just right. But uh, that deposits the head and you can flip up the horns. So that's the part of Papillon that forms the mech mech proper. And then uh, the dragonfly splits like this. And then uh, there's a clip here and a little sliding rail system here. And on the back of the mech, there's a, it slides over this rail and then clips into here. So you just slide it from the top down. And then you've got the wings on the back of the main mech. And that is what the mech looks like with all of the parts from the main uh, Sugods, uh, the little mechs here. Once that's done, you take the, the silver body red spider clips on up here onto the chest, like this. And then the red body silver spider clips on here. They are interchange, and then you can kind of fold those back. They are interchangeable, so if you wanted to swap these two, you can. Uh, I think on the on the on the plastic model kit, these have different hinges on the legs. This one has some hinge a hinge up here, so the legs can move out with the with the uh, mech legs, and this one has some hinges. So they may not be as interchangeable on the plastic model kit, but here on the on the mech, if you want to put swap them, you can. But this is how they're supposed to be configured. And then the two uh, Tendo fly up and attach, they clip onto these rail systems on the arm. You're going to see this kind of rail system on a lot of the, uh, the sword has, uh, you'll see this has got the same sword, so you can clip some bugs on there too. And there is the main mech all put together uh, by itself. And then the, um, the rest of Papillon, the back half of, uh, I forgot the, the name Hondo or whatever, clips together to form a sword. And then the ant clips on right down here. And like I said, you, the, you, can, you can clip it anywhere on the, anywhere the rails fit on the sword. Because like in the show, he did a giant attack, sliced up the pill bug, and the ant went, didn't come off, it didn't come off and clip on there, but it kind of went, and I'm not sure if that has any sort of function or if it was just something cool for the show. But you can clip the ant on. Wherever. You can't quite clip it all the way down here. Like, it will go on, but it sits at a slight angle because this butt piece is, doesn't have quite enough clearance. So it, it's generally going to clip it right there, just one notch up. Although I wish I could have them sit down here flat. I probably could if I sanded something, but I don't really want to modify this. But, uh, but yeah, the ant goes on there, and then the sword can go 
right there in the hand. You can also, if you want, he does have the big, nope, big wings on the sword there. Uh, if you don't want those getting in the way, you can actually fold those wings kind of like more like a, like a hand guard around his hand. Uh, but all, all the official pictures show it uh, as uh, something around the feet. Uh, show it with the wings out, and you're more than welcome to uh, have it as such. But then, when, yeah, he's got a ball joint on the head there. He can turn around. Um, but, and, and like I said, then the ankle tilt and the feet. There's really no, no extra articulation here from what we already showed versus uh, the, aside from the ball joint in the head. But there is King Oger all put together like this. Now, there are th like I said, the box set came with uh, God Kabuto with his little chompy, 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 chompy rhinoceros beetle action. Um, and again, you, you can, the, these legs are all the same. You can put, if you want symmetry, you can put the two gold legs in the same spot on each side, but the instructions specifically have them in these alternate places just because of, again, they, they've got to do some asymmetry. Like you see, he's got a pipe here on one side of his carapace, but not on the other. Uh, but these can open up, you can open up like, like that he's flying with his wings out. Um, and, and like you can see here, the kind of coattails on Kuagata, you can do that in beetle mode as well. And this piece has a little bit of movement on this hinge, so if you need to rotate the waist or whatever, this can get out of the way, which is nice. Overall, really poseable and solid mech. Now, God Kabuto becomes a cannon, a big, giant cannon. And when that happens, you can take the sword. I'm going to take the sword and take this ladybug off. The sword can, with using this clip on the bottom of the uh, tail, can clip onto the back and store back here, which is nice. <clears throat> and then, when you take this, and then uh, you can add the Kabuto cannon, and you rotate this down. This is just a peg, so it will pop off. It comes separate in the package. This piece also comes off. So I don't know if that like there may eventually be another attachment for up here, or if that's just how they got that piece on there. I'm not sure, but anyway, this on the peg rotates down like this. Close these finger, uh, pieces like that. Bring the legs down. Pop this forward. On this, it only has a, a clip on one side, but unclip it from this side, and then this whole assembly rotates around to the back like this. And then this piece, uh, you want to slide the legs to the middle. And then this fl keeps flipping up and this clips into back here. And then you just arrange the legs kind of like this. So the, these four are pointing back. These two are pointing forward. Um, and then this piece right here flips out. Um, and you can also use this mechanism to get this out of the way because there's this little tab piece that holds this flipped forward. But you can lift that up, flip this up, lock it into place. And there is a fairly mighty cannon for for the for the mech. You can see, there's the it's, it, it's basically a giant Megatron cannon for the mech. And so you just open this up, this little clip here, and it's going to clip into place where the um, the ladybug was. It take you're going to have to rearrange some of this stuff to get it to get the clearance up here. But I uh, flip this leg down because it clips onto the forearm like this around. Then you can flip this, this leg back up. And then this god tendo, tento clips onto here just like it did on the arm. You can have it facing either way, but in the show they face, they face up. And now, giant Megatron fusion cannon for the mech. Hit the ratchets in his arm do, in fact, support the weight of it. Which is really nice, even when it's. Let's see if I can get. When you get it, um, you, you can see, like, even straight out to the side, it, um, it actually supports it fairly sturdily, the weight of that giant cannon. The only time it really doesn't is if, if I were to take this, if I bent his elbow, uh, everything in the arm ratchets except for that uh, bicep swivel. So if you, if, you, if you bring this so it bends at the elbow and this weight comes forward, it can cause that uh, this uh, bicep swivel to droop a little bit. But otherwise, it's remarkably solid in uh, even fully extended straight out um, 
you can see it's supporting the weight here and uh, not the mech isn't falling over and, and it, it isn't drooping the ratchet's nice so that's really cool it does this whole assembly up here does kind of wreak havoc with all of this stuff these legs and the wing back here but what's neat the transformation hinge here like in the show it looks like he just got this giant cannon straight forward but um this transformation hinge here lines right up with the elbow so if you want to have him pointing it forward without knocking all this stuff around uh, let me pop this back on come on there we go um you can you, if you unsnap that hinge and you can just leave this pointing up uh, so when you bend about the elbow, this can stay up like this, and um, you can still have him wield the weapon without uh, knocking all this stuff around back here, and you can use that wing to kind of hold that in place. We'll go ahead and snap the, snap this back on. So yeah, and again, the elbow's a ratchet, so it's just as sturdy, doesn't droop, and it's pretty cool. Oh, I almost knocked my whole camera off the table. But, yeah, it, it adds a lot to uh, that that right side of the mech. I guess it's for the left side here in the picture. And like I said, these you can move these around to get out of the way. You can kind of overlap the uh, at least this lower leg under it. But, yeah. And there's the big 10... Shoe God combiner, or 11 actually now with, with God Kabuto in there. There are now currently available two auxiliary mech weapons. One is the Rolling Hammer Pillbug, who I really like, and a Gatling Snail, a little snail guy. And the Gatling Snail has a little, when it's in snail mode, as it rolls along, regardless of which way you have the shell facing, the wheels have a little rubber bit that connects to spin the, to spin it as uh, as it rolls along, which is cute. But again, yeah, to you transform it, you just do that. This this little antenna rotate as well. So when I usually turn it into the weapon mode, I flip this around just to kind of make it look like it's connecting as some sort of like support back here. You don't have to, but um, yeah, it basically just rotates like that, and then this tento pops off. It can go on either arm, but with the kabuto over there, you snap that to the forearm, and now he's got a forearm. Gatling cannon that does again doesn't gear spin like it does in snail mode, but spins pretty freely, and you can give him a Gatling cannon on this arm. And if you need something to do with this, you can snap. You may have to push Ant up right up against the top there, but you can snap this on to the sword in the back to store it. And then Pillbug. The only thing that moves here really is his antenna in Pillbug mode. He doesn't have any rolling wheels or anything, but a uh, little Pillbug. He can roll up into a little pill bug ball, which is also his weapon mode. Um, now, all the instructions, uh, all the, the pictures of him in, in this mode have these horns extended, but he comes with them folded up, and they are on a little rotational hinge. It is easy. Do be careful because you can pop that out of there. It's just a little clip. But you can, you can actually roll them up so they're not sticking out because you're going to want to swing this thing around because you, if you open it up, and right here in the butular area of the pill bug, you open up this little hatch, and it stores the chain. So you flip this up, and you take the chain, and you clip it in here, and now you've got a, a wrecking ball weapon. Now, trust me, I learned from experience. Like, it's pretty sturdy, but you can see, like, that was a, I flipped it up and it came down. There was a hard jerk there, but swinging it around, it's pretty sturdy, but you can swing it hard enough to have that thing fly off the chain, so be careful. But for the most part, I mean, like, as long as you don't go crazy with it, uh, it, it'll stay on there pretty well. And then it has a little handle that you can put in the hand. So you can, in fact, <laughs> I don't know how he would fight with all of this stuff at once. Um, I right, popped the, pop the leg off. Uh, there we go. But uh, you can give him, this is not the official 13 combination legendary King Oger, but you can get all of the bugs uh, attached for display here uh, if you have all the ones that are out so far. Technically, uh, God Kabuto, Kabuto, Kabuto 
sorry, it's getting late. My tongue's getting tied. Um, is not officially out yet. I think he comes out on like the 23rd or the 25th, like that weekend. But he is already available. He's officially released because he is already available in the giant box set that comes with everything. But uh, if you want to buy him individually, you have to wait a couple weeks. Unless you know somebody who's already got them in stock. I got these from Amazon Japan. I know people, a lot of people are going to ask. Because you can actually set up, which is nice. There's a lot of st- this stuff nowadays. You can set up, even here in America, an Amazon Japan account. And I just buy direct and they ship it to me really fast because it comes DHL. Um, so a lot of my Kamen Rider stuff and Sentai stuff I've been getting lately. I've just been, if I want it, I just pick it up on Amazon Japan because they can ship right to me. But, uh. But yeah, very cool, very poseable. Like, I'm really looking forward to seeing... I've seen some pictures in the show of what looks like the grasshopper mech and the scorpion mech attached, although you can't really see much of the scorpion. Um, And it looks like there may be, in those pictures, there may be something extra attached down here on the kneecaps because it looks like there's some detailing that's uh, above the heads of these two guys. But um, I I can't... The picture's not super clear enough uh, yet for me to really get a good look at it at least the picture i've seen i have like i said i haven't watched somebody said you can kind of see him in the opening credits and last week was the first episode so there weren't any opening credits um and i haven't uh watched this week's episode yet so we'll see but anyway there is osama sentai king oger uh the main mech with god kabuto and the auxiliary weapons gatling snail here and rolling hammer Wrecking Ball. Like I said, I really like him. He's just a fun little pill bug. I like, and then the Wrecking Ball is fun too. If you're careful with it, just kind of have on the chain and swing around. But yeah, looking forward to seeing uh, where... I don't know how long I'll stick with the show. Um, it depends on how easy it is to watch, because I, mean, I still can't even... I had to go hunting for the first episode last week, um, and I haven't seen it go up on where I'm watching Geats right now. But either way... Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where the mechs go. I love bugs. Having 13 bugs here in one giant robot is pretty cool. And uh, like I said, Scorpion and Grasshopper, we know are coming. I'm sure there will be some more auxiliary mechs and bugs, and we'll just keep collecting them as long as they're cool. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Osama Sentai King Oger uh, with God Kabuto, Gatling Snail, and Rolling Hammer.